Hollywood is loved by some two billion people worldwide, but then there's a whole other portion of the world that knows very little about it. Shekhar Kapoor was talking to Thierry Fermo at the Cannes Film Festival last year. They wanted to make Bollywood accessible to a Western audience and to a world audience. And I think they saw this as an opportunity to, um, to bring some talent from India and some outside, some fresh eyes, which was myself, um, and create something that was accessible and gave an introduction and a celebration and a salute. Uh, to the rest of the world. You're part of Bollywood uh, the moment you're born in India, so uh, you don't have a choice there. You just grow up loving movies and uh, breathing movies and drinking movies. Our movies are like the Indian sun. It will have a little bit of everything. They reflect our lives. So much. Boy meets a girl, boy falls in love with girl, boy woos girl, girl turns away, he chases girl, in the process he sings eight songs. The villain steps into it, eventually takes the girl away, boy chases villain and gets the girl back from villain. End of the story. Happy ending. Well, Rakesh spent months with a team of researchers picking not only the films that he knew historically had the most impact, um, but also choosing films that were turning points historically, socially. When I arrived, I think that he had already narrowed down the whole hundred years to some 140 hours or something of that, about that size. Is that about right? It was big. Almost insane, yeah. It was unwieldy. And the, and the goal was to go through that with a very particular um, filter. We're looking for the absurd. We're looking for the sensual. We were looking for the impressive. And then the last mandate was what makes you want to dance. Bloom again and run away with me on a roller coaster ride. Bloom again and see a wild this is the form, it's song and dance. You can go in and out of song and dance in a Bollywood film um, with very little bridge. Go into any Indian cinema, watch when a song comes on. It's that feeling of freedom and of being unashamed about everything. When seeped in Indianness, I love it. Folk music is eternal. It has come through generations. It can never fail. To try to understand uh, a billion people through a country's cinema is a really unique angle to take. 